Well, today we're doing a waste characterization study. We're doing the waste sort portion of it at the uh, landfill here in Lincoln, Nebraska. We take a portion of the load, we sort through that waste, and from that we break it down into different categories. What they're trying to learn is what's in the waste, and they're trying to get a better handle on it so they have an understanding of specifically what's in their waste. Not what EPA says or anybody else says, but what physically is in the waste stream and how it's broken down. Food waste that we find is broken down into a few categories. One of the largest is what comes from fast food and restaurants. We see a lot more waste come out of uh, fast food restaurants than we do out of any other kind of restaurant. But another food waste we see is a school. Probably the largest amount of food waste we have is milk. One of the other large categories is tater tots. You can get a lot of tater tots out of schools, and it doesn't matter if it's elementary, middle school, or high school. Tater tots, bar none. From an economic perspective, uh, if you don't throw as much away, the cells don't fill up as fast, then you don't have to build the next cell, and so you're not spending as much money in the uh, operation of the landfill. You don't spend as much money in the operation of the landfill, you can keep rates reasonable. And so that's a benefit onto its own. It's a strictly a cost-benefit relationship.